Hey everyone, it's Matt here again from FilterGrade, and today we're going to be going over five quick tips for shooting Super 8 film. In this video, we're going to be using the Canon 514XL Super 8 film camera. Um, with this camera, there's many different features. You can zoom in. There is a battery check and also a time slash length indicator to show where you're at with the film. And you can also change the frames per second with this lever going from 9 or 18. And here you can see there's also uh, a light switch where you can choose um, indoor or outdoor natural lighting. So the first tip we're going to go over today is in regards to camera shake. Um, when people start shooting Super 8 film or any film for that matter, they might not realize how much camera shake they will have when they're shooting. So our first tip is going to be to shoot with your elbows at your sides as opposed to shooting with your hands out. So keep your elbows at your sides and this will help so that when you're looking through, you'll be able to just keep your hands nice and steady rather than having them out where you might be you know, jittery a little bit or if you're moving around. And for some people, they'll use that as kind of a, a way or a style that they shoot. But if you're trying to get clean, consistent looks, I would 90% of the time or 100% of the time, keep your elbows at your side while you're shooting so that you can get clean cuts no matter what you're filming, basically. Okay, so for the next tip, this is kind of not just a Super 8 tip, but also uh, a general photography tip. It's always be wary of the distance from your camera to the subject, especially when you're shooting film because it relies so much on the depth. And when you're shooting Super 8 film especially, you don't want to waste any film while you're shooting, for example, people. You don't want to be wasting film accidentally focusing on the background just because you're focused on what they're doing. Always be wary of where they are in the frame so that you know, okay, do I need to be focusing way far or, or a little bit closer for that person? So the third tip we're gonna be going over today has to do with exposure for your Super 8 camera. Um, when you're shooting video film, you have to be kind of thoughtful of, you know, if you're shooting way overexposed with video, you're gonna get many, many frames that are overexposed, whereas when you're shooting one single photo, it's it's just one photo that's overexposed, but when you're shooting multiple frames that are overexposed, you kind of get a scene where it's maybe too white and there's just nothing there. So one common, common um, tip that I kind of follow is to always underexpose rather than overexposing because when you underexpose with Super 8 film, you'll get a grainy kind of grungy look, but if you overexpose, then you might not get anything at all. So I tend to lean more towards underexposing when I'm shooting, especially outside. The next tip we're going to be going over is kind of another general tip that you should use with any of your cameras, but especially when you're shooting Super 8 film is to just use any additional settings that your camera might have to offer. So, for example, especially with the Canon um, Super 8 film cameras, most of them have the different light settings that you can choose from. So when you're shooting outside, make sure you have the sunlight on, but once you've gotten used to that, also try shooting outside maybe with the other filter on. See what that can result with. Just play around with it because you never know what you'll get, especially when you're shooting film. That's always a fun aspect. And also, another fun thing to do is change the, the frames per second. Um, I've tried cameras that have all the way up to 24 or 36 frames per second, and those are a lot of fun because it, it looks so realistic, but when you're shooting at nine frames per second, that's also pretty cool because it just looks so kind of slow motion almost. Okay, so for our last tip of the day, 
it's based on the settings of the camera actually and it's the exposure lock tab so when you're shooting especially when you're shooting outside this is a really good tool to use while you're while you're kind of lining something up and when you continuously shoot it helps especially when you're outside to keep it in that same exact lighting so that it's not going from one end of the spectrum to the other say even if just the clouds shift then it might just ruin the whole shot when you're using the exposure lock tool though it'll help so that you can just get the whole the whole scene as you would have wanted it to so that just about wraps it up for our five quick tips for shooting super 8 film um, if you have any questions about any of the tips feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions about the Canon 514 XL or the Canon 514 XLS, another film camera that we use. Feel free to let us know about that and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching guys.